Ronald McDonald House in North Central Florida's 12th annual Build a House for the House event is happening today. So TV20's Alexis Goings is live to show us some gingerbread display building skills. Joining us this morning is Vice Chair Bobby Robinson, and she's going to share some tips on how to build oh, a gingerbread house with you all watching at home. And Kristen's going to come over here right. and going to give us some tips. So. Bobby, to have a sturdy, nice looking gingerbread house, where would you start? Okay, first of all, I would start with my design, my my subject, how I want my house to look in the right. end. Mm -hmm. Then I'll decide based on that if I want to start decorating my house before I put it together, mm -hmm. or do I want to decorate it after it's been assembled. Mm -hmm. So once you make those decisions, then you can start putting all of the jewels and decorations on it that you Fun want. Part. So what's your favorite um, candy to use? Like, yeah. Oh my actually. gosh, well it depends <laughs> on my theme. Um, it's a secret, so don't tell anybody, okay. but my house this year is gonna be peppermint. We won't tell anyone except so for everyone else. Don't tell anybody, but it's going to be all everyone. peppermint. So with that being said, obviously peppermint would be my go-to for my house this year. So, so yeah. do you prefer to decorate while it's already built or once you're, like, when it's yeah, still like separate pieces? Apart. I prefer decorating it unassembled. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. Really? It's a lot easier like to, de decorating to do the details of it uh -huh. before it's assembled. Good. But if I you thought... wanted to do it ahead of time, you you certainly could. Okay, um, there's so many different ways that you can decorate your house. Um, oh. You can do for your ridge pole. You can do some red licorice yeah. for your yeah. your top there. There you go. Or you can even do some sprinkles once you've done your icing on there. Mm -hmm. There you go. You can do all kinds of things with that. With yours, you're able to have more control over it mm -hmm. when it's um, laying flat down okay. for your little mm -hmm. gummies. Mm -hmm. So there's all kinds of ways. There's been so many amazing decorations that have been done by the community, people that have attended this event. Yeah, so what's the craziest display you've seen? Oh, my goodness. So they've done um, a, a lighthouse, and there was actually a light going on inside the lighthouse. Oh, they're going to they blow us out the water. Mirror go rounds. <laughs> I mean, it's just incredible, the imagination and how much fun people have when they um, participate in this wow. event. Wow. And some people, like, start this, like, plan it out, like, months yeah. in advance. A year in advance. I mean, Alexis and wow, a Alexis year. and I are going today, and we were discussing it maybe like we 24 had like three hours ideas. ago. <laughs> yes, yeah. I don't think we've even come with a uniform plan, but we're gonna have fun regardless. That's the key: there. having fun and building a house for the house. Yeah. So if you have one of your own, you can use these tips that Bobby just shared with us. And although the spaces aren't filled for this event, you can still donate, and you can go on our website wcjb.com to help those families out around this Christmas season. All right. Well, Bobby, thank you so much for being with us. Thank this you. Is kicking off, you know, the holiday season's already kicked off, but this building a gingerbread house is definitely a great holiday feel. Thank you for being with us, and your sports report is up next.